Rounding off this list of the world's top 10 highest mountains is Annapurna. Technically speaking Annapurna is actually a massif in the Himalayas, comprising of 30 mountains over 6,000 meters. For the purposes of this article though, rest assured that whenever we say Annapurna we're in fact referring to the only mountain in the massif with an elevation above 8,000 meters, Annapurna I-8,091 meters. Historically speaking Annapurna, and the supporting peaks in the massif, are some of the world's most difficult and dangerous mountains to climb. The fatality to summit ratio on Annapurna, for example, is a truly terrifying 32%. The mountain is located in north-central Nepal, and was first summited in 1950 by a French expedition led by Morris Herzog and Louis Lacanel. Nanga Parbat is the ninth highest mountain in the world. Its summit is 8,126 meters above sea level. The mountain is situated in the Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan. It resides at the westernmost point of the Himalayas and is also the furthest west of all the world's 8,000 meter peaks. In 1953, Hermann Brühl, who was part of a German Austrian expedition team, became the first man to ascend Nanga Parbat. Nanga Parbat is a notoriously dangerous hill to climb, and has been labeled the killer mountain by those who deal in nicknames and the like. Locally speaking, the mountain is known as Diomir. Translated literally, this means huge mountain. One of the standout features of Nanga Parbat is the Rupal face, which rises 4,600 meters from bottom to top. The Rupal face, located on the mountain's south side, is often referred to as the highest mountain face in the world. Coming in at number 8 on the list of the all-time highest mountains is Monaslu. Monaslu can be found in the west-central part of Nepal, and has a summit that's situated 8,163 meters above sea level. The first successful ascent of Monaslu occurred in 1956, when Japanese climber Tashio Imanashi and Nepalese Sherpa Giles in Norbu made it to the summit. The mountain, the highest one in the Gorkhan district, is a significant part of Japan's mountaineering history. In the same way that some Brits consider Everest to be their mountain, the Imanashi ascent and subsequent climbs by other Japanese adventurers has seen Japan claim Monaslu as their own. With an elevation of 8,167 meters, Dalagiri is the seventh highest mountain in the world. It's located in Nepal, and was first summited in 1960 by a combined Swiss-Austrian-Nepalese effort. In 1808, Dalagiri was marked down in the record books as the world's highest mountain of those yet surveyed. It was registered as the world's highest mountain until Kankan Junga took the top spot in 1838 after which Everest went officially to number 1 in 1858. One mountain down the height list from Mukalu, but at the opposite end of the difficulty spectrum, is Chou'u. While it's anything but a casual walk in the park, its elevation is an intimidating 8,188 meters after all, Chou'u is seen by many to be the easiest of the plus 8,000 meters mountains to climb due to its accessibility and generally moderate slopes. Chou'u, which means turquoise goddess, stands on the Chinese-Nepalese border. The first ascent was accomplished by Austrians Joseph Jockler and Herbert Tichy as well paced the Wat Lama from Nepal, in 1954. With an elevation of 8,485 meters, Mukalu is officially the fifth highest mountain in the world. Situated 19 kilometers southeast of Everest, on the border between Nepal and China, Mukalu is notable for its summit's iconic pyramid shape. Mukalu was first summited in 1955 by Lionel Thierry and Jean Cousy, who made up part of a French expedition. Because of the mountain's isolated position, which leaves it exposed to the elements, and numerous knife-edge ridges and pan-filling steep sections, Mukalu is viewed by many in the mountaineering community as one of the world's most difficult climbs. The latter stages of the ascent, in particular, involve some extremely technical rock and ice climbing. 
Just missing out on a medal, and a spot on the podium, is Lotse. Lotse, elevation, 8,516 meters, is the fourth highest mountain in the world. It neighbors Mount Everest, and forms part of the Everest Massif. The summit of Lhotse is on the border between the Khambu region of Nepal and Tibet. It was first climbed in 1956 when a Swiss team made up of Ernst Rice and Fritz Luxinger did the business. Interestingly, Lhotse Middle, a subsidiary peak of Lhotse with an elevation of 8,410 meters, wasn't summited until 2001. The middle was the final 8,000-meter peak to be summited and, despite being lower than the main Lhotse summit, is widely considered to be the most difficult climb over 8,000 meters in the world. This is, in large part, because of the intimidating tower-like shape on its upper reaches. Kankanjunga is a mountain that's impossible to pronounce after a full crate of beers. It's also, perhaps more importantly than that, the third highest mountain in the world. It sits on the border between Nepal and India, and has an elevation of 8,586 meters. Located approximately 125 kilometers from Everest, Kankanjunga is the second highest mountain in the Himalayas. Up until 1852, it was assumed to be the world's highest mountain. However after some clever calculating, and presumably some recalculating to make sure, it was announced that Everest was in fact the highest mountain in the world with Kankanjunga having to settle for third place. There is a tradition when ascending Kankanjunga to stop just short of the summit. This dates back to the first successful climb of the mountain by Joe Brown and George Brand in 1955. Brown and Brand, who were part of a British expedition, made a promise to regional monarchs know as the Chojil that the mountain summit would remain pure. Every climber since then has followed the respectful example set by the first ascent. Who remembers the film Vertical Limit? It came out on the year 2000 and starred Chris O'Donnell, Bill Paxton, Robin Tunney, and Scott Glenn. Anyone? Well, anyway, it was set on K2, the world's second highest mountain. K2, also known officially as Mount Godwin Austin or Kagori, has a summit 8,611 meters above sea level. It is located on the border between China and Pakistan. The Chinese side of the mountain is widely considered to be the more difficult and hazardous side, so the summit is usually attempted from the Pakistan side. Behind Annapurna K2 has the second highest fatality rate of any mountain with a height over 8,000 meters. Approximately speaking, there's one death for every four successful climbs, justifying its nickname as the Savage Mountain. Unlike with the other 8,000 meter peaks, nobody has ever successfully ascended K2 in winter. As we've already said, and as you already knew, Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain. Its peak is an eye-watering 8,848 meters above sea level, making it well over eight times taller than the highest mountain in Wales, Snowdon, at 1,085 meters above sea level. Everest is situated on the border between Nepal and the autonomous region of Tibet. Officially speaking, the first successful Everest climbers were Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay in 1953. It is estimated that there is well over 200 dead bodies on Everest, all of them remarkably well preserved because of the extremely cold temperatures. Everest is part of the Seven Summits. The Seven Summits is a list made up of the highest mountain on each of the world's seven continents. Climbing all seven of the Seven Summits is one of the ultimate achievements in the sport of mountaineering. <laughs>